Hi, this is Reese from Creator Serum, and today I'm going to be showing you the email marketing automation we have inside of Creator. Now, inside this feature, we're going to have 100,000 emails free a month. That will give you the ability to enable your email marketing automation, drip feed, and send a series of emails out quite regularly without worrying about capping your system. Inside this feature, we're going to have an online workflow designer as well, which we'll be showing you in this video. And this is going to have automatic actions, things like adding to groups, and if they click on here, send another email, so forth and so forth. And the other feature that we had, which we thought about, is that when you actually send all these series of emails, we're going to tag them to particular groups. For example, if it's a product uh, MYAB, it will actually grab those emails, and you can report on all those series of emails inside that group. Now just to quickly recap why Create is a fantastic product and having a sales automation tool inside of here is that we're going to be able to sync all your accounts, the information, or your Exchange Office 365, so anyone who adds a contact into the database goes into Creator, accounts, these stuff as you mentioned before, and all these different points that will be sucking to the database um, into one location. And that will give you the ability and the power to actually start to drive your business sales by sending an email for those people who are new customers of broader product or all those different things. So here's some ideas on why create a serum for sales automation. So one is going to be the events. For example, if you have an event and you want to have a countdown of a series of emails, from 30 days, 15 days in the last day, you can send emails out, and if they have registered, you can send another series of emails out. Um, if the training, if they buy a product for you, or let's say it's a training in, um, um, on how to use the product, you can send a weekly email to them individually, and they can actually receive that, and that's really beneficial for adoption of particular products that you have. Other product specific emails, like say you're a, a vendor or a manufacturer or a wholesaler and you've got a series of products, you can, a client is interested in an ABC product, you can send a series of emails on that product and if it's an XYZ product, you can send a series of emails on that product. And of course like new leads, introduction of your business, you can send those a series of sales automation emails about that. Now the benefits for sales automation is, is obviously um, unbelievable. So the first thing about I can think of when you think of benefits is the developing a business process. That's a great thing for a business owner to actually, um, as you can see a picture here, they can mind map how things need to be. And we've got a great editor we'll show you very shortly. It's going to be centralizing also your communication. So any part of the business, let's say they um, purchase a product to whatever it is, you can then start to develop a business process and communication on how things are. And making sure you can um, add a follow-up call for your staff just in case, um, so it's just to keep that communication going and that touch point happening as well. It is set and forget It's a, for a business owner. It's important to pretty much focus on your business and build your business up. And it's good for you to even mind map it. A lot of the stuff with designers, you'll be able to do it yourself, and that will be so beneficial because you really the best person to run it to get these things done is probably yourself and to develop a process where you're getting your marketing team around you, the sales teams around you, just really develop something that really is set and forget and then focus on the results coming back to you. Um, Obviously, it's going to generate um, leads, but the other thing is the analysts and the effectiveness of these campaigns. So you will be able to, let's say, see the click-throughs of a particular product um, there and really understand what the hot spots are for your business or ideas that you have been communicating to your clients. And that is going to be beneficial forever, and it pretty much helps you um, uh, start building um, um, strategic uh, alignments with what the results are. Now let's have a look at the product here. So what we've got here is in the new feature here, we've got the campaign workflow section here and a marketing overview here. So what this will entail is that you'll be able to actually um, click on a new workflow. And this will pop up a screen which is a, a, a canvas on how to design an email marketing campaign. So this is pretty cool. I'll just uh, minimize the screen a bit to give you more us more room. First thing we've got to start. Now the next thing we can do is we can drag and drop and see the email. Now have you noticed in the email you've got a, um, in and out which is what for example you can drag the start which only has a out and you can drag it into the in part of the email. Nice nice and easy there. I'm just going to zoom it to give us more room again. 
And then the next thing we can do is that we're going to go, what do we do next on this email? Now what, what we can do is just simply double click on this email itself and we're going to actually um, load up a particular um, template. So we just load a template and we then click on the template name. So it's type in warm fuzzy. So that will grab the actual template of the template library that we have. So this copies the email template across. The next thing we do is we start adding tags that are connected to the central campaign that we're talking about. So let's say it was CBIT, we just type in CBIT and it would log up CBIT and we can do other things, other campaigns as well, which is let's say MYOB as well. So this would mean that this particular email template is connected to those two tags. We can just put a subject, um, hi, there. Okay, so we click on OK. So that's got sending an email. The next thing we can do is we can actually uh, put another action in. So what you've got here is all these different miscellaneous um, abilities to um, create groups, follow-ups, and different things we've got in here. So this one here is that we're going to create a miscellaneous, and we're going to delay this, and we go. We're going to after we send this email, we're going to delay, and we can double click on that, and we can delay it for about. Um, We'll make it seven days. So we have a scroller here, and we go from to seven days. We're going to delay that email, and we just move it across. So give us some more room. And this, this is quite easy. Uh, from that, we will then just send another email out, and we just go from that delay. We're going to send another email out, and we double click on this, and you you get the picture. We can just keep on adding different things. We just um, I'll just. Uh, CBIT conference and send that out bit conference and, and send that campaign out and say a tag this is actually going to connect to the CBIT conference um, second email okay and we click on OK now what we can start doing now is go say if they actually open the email and what we can say if it's um, true, if they, if it's, uh, if they've opened the email, we can then um, add them to a group. So we can say create, and then if the, we can say we add them to this group, and then we can say um, uh, which would be CBIT group, for example, 2014. Click on OK. So we add it to the CBIT group. Now, if they haven't opened it, we can just say, which is an, a point over here, we can just, for example, put another delay, and you can start saying, you can just, this canvas can get quite big, so we can just use this scroll button to say, if they haven't opened to it, we can delay it for another, we'll say another seven days. Use the arrow key then, seven days, and we then send another email, and you get the picture here. So click on here, and we're just going to load the template. Load the template, and we'll send another email out, see if it again. This time, thank you for coming. Now, it doesn't make sense, I know that. Um, Like that. So what what you can start seeing here is there's a design of a series of emails that we have done that sends us um, a couple of areas. You can, for example, just say, well, if they've clicked on this link over here, uh, you can then add them to another group as well. Okay, so. Um, and then you can say, well, this person has opened this goes to this group as well. So you can start seeing a different scenario each time. Again, we're going to go to um, uh, contacts and so forth and so forth. Now, you can see here we've now designed the actual um, email workflow designer. And next thing we're going to do is just save it, which is just a save button here. And that's saved it nicely, and we just close it. So we refresh that, 
and now we've got an, a, a different campaign so I should have actually made it uh, this is a test is active there we're not going to do that because I don't want to be sending a series of emails in here so I'm going to click on save and click on that and I can show my design here great drop it down there so you can see here it's quite easy to send uh, create your campaign and um, your sales automation in series of emails so you've got a one two three emails here adding to groups and we can have follow-ups and delays and different things here as well so once we've actually sent all the emails or series of emails out we want to actually have a overview of your, our marketing through all the email marketing series that we've sent out. So we've got something called a marketing overview section over here that's just, uh, expanded here. And this gives you the ability to give you a, a um, helicopter view of all your campaigns going on for the last, for example, for the last seven days for, at, for the start. So at the moment we've seen 90, we've had 98 opens, 21 clicks, zero bounces, zero unsubscribe and 17 cents here. So with that in mind, you can see this uh, particular scenario where you can actually uh, look at your campaign and you have the ability to um, interact with this uh, data where, for example, you can uh, move the time period and magnifying the data itself that you can see here as well, which is pretty good here. So that helps you to say, particularly this day on Tuesday, the 5th of um, April 2016, that was the result and you can see during the time, um, uh, Wednesday and Tuesday, you can see different things happening in, in the day on the clicks. Now, you have things here where you can actually see the top clicks um, of this clients, the top links and so forth. And you can actually click through those people by clicking on those icons and looking at those people. Now, as mentioned beforehand, uh, we were looking at tags. So one tag um, we had was um, MYOB. So I'm just going to look at the MYOB campaigns that we have. So that are all the series of emails that they have on there that we've, we've got. Now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to be um, putting it back. Now the great thing about this is that we can send single send emails as well as much as um, things like um, it's a drip marketing as well that of all the email templates that have um, a tag on MYB on it will be able to report on this and get statistics of what the message is as I said for, for what the benefits are is that if you're doing things like events you can see your statistics if you see a particular product you can tag the product on that email and on that campaign and that will give you uh, a real-time message of what the feed is for that particular message so that helps you uh, heaps there so let's um, have a look at this we're going to actually go back and uh, MYB uh, we started in November, um, October, and let's see how this went for us from today. Okay, so from that we had um, 1,111 opens, 52 clicks, a lot of bounce, 44 unsubscribes, and so forth. You can see we have nice interactive um, percentage from open rates here and, and uh, bounces, and then you can again the great thing about this, you can then narrow it down and say, well, I want to see the data going through here, or just get a slide along and just see the hot spots of the days and say, for example, um, uh, on Wednesday, let's say the um, the times here, the second and the third, you can see here the, 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 the click-throughs and at the one stage you're up to 60 one as well. Now you can again go through here and see click through of the contacts you've got here and just let's say this particular one was Alex from MYOB and you see all, all the information about that person there and um, you can see information about that. So you can click through and see that particular contact and um, have a review of what data is about that particular person who's had a hot lead on that, that, that particular campaign. So as you can see, you have the ability to um, real time get uh, do a series of automation emails uh, through our designer, and then you'll be able to have a helicopter view of all the campaigns you have and see them in a real time view, and also then have a click through to the contacts and see information. And that's very helpful for different people, and also you can add them to groups, um, and that's a beneficial there. Okay, so I'm going to get a group uh, database. 
and go to a group that was created. Now, when you send a campaign out to a particular group, the great thing with Creator is that we actually develop something called touch points. Touch points is you can design something where if you've sent a call, an email um, through Exchange or Office 365, you've made a note or anything like this, it will mark it as a touch point. So in Creator, you can actually have a list and then look at the touch points for all these particular contacts for someone that you should be calling. It's a bit of a good way of doing a great call list where you can actually sort them in a touch point view so you can see which ones have not been touch points. So up the top here, there's our four or five clients have not been actually called. You can see the last results, which is successful. You can see some like um, Nathan and these guys have not been called inside of a creator. So it helps you out by just calling those different people that you, uh, that's inside your database. And it gives you an easy point to access in the group. So when you send a campaign out um, and it adds to a group, you can actually sort them into the last time you've communicated to them and then make a phone call. So. It, Email marketing is not a touch point we feel, even though I've clicked in, um, and um, opened those emails, we talk about a touch point when you've actually communicated to them and you've um, actually started to build a relationship with. And that's a great thing with Creator because you're centralizing every piece of data that you need from phone calling, voice over IP to um, making notes and general things like that see software, making invoices, all that stuff you can then start um, to see which clients are, are drifting away from you and you can have a central location to start to build out those relationships. Give those groups to your sales team to say please communicate to them. We can send a lot of emails out but you know that it's just, a, uh, just to speak to them would be fantastic. Now. I hope that uh, this demo is uh, helpful for you on the sales automation. You can see now Create is grown to be a feature rich um, facility. Now it's got 100,000 emails. And this tool is not just to send emails out, it's really build a better customer base for your business and centralize everything so your company grows and your company has a ownership of all their data and can see it in one single view. Um, if there's any questions, please give us a call. Uh, we're more than happy to answer any questions and uh, hopefully speak to you soon.